It is March here in Vermont, and that typically is maple sugaring time. Dave Gabbett, owner and operator of the Scrag Mountain Sugar House in Waitsfield, Vermont, has been tapping sap and producing maple syrup for a long time, starting out with an operation in his backyard. Uh, I've been chugging here for about 25 years, and I grew up in southern Vermont, and um, you know, made syrup in the backyard, sold syrup to Coombs Sugar House, a local sugar house for years. When I was in college in Middlebury, I worked at a, a sugaring operation south of Middlebury, and uh, so I've been pretty much doing it my whole life. The window for sugaring is not that long, with specific weather conditions needed to start production. Well, essentially, we only sugar for about uh, maybe 30 days a year. Uh, the temperature has to go down below freezing into the 20s at least, and it has to warm up in the daytime. Uh, usually around 38 or 40 we get a run. Um, what's really happening there is that uh, when it freezes, just like any liquid, sap expands, and it expands up into the twigs of the tree. And when it warms up, the sap goes back down to the roots where the tree is storing its carbohydrates. And we just take about 2% of that sap as it goes by uh, on those, those few days that it runs. Has climate change had an impact on the sugaring process? You know, traditionally, when I was a kid, everybody tapped town meeting day yesterday. Uh, and then the sugar season would go from March and halfway through April. Now we tap at Christmas because invariably with this crazy weather and with climate change, we get runs in January, February, and you can't miss those runs. Um, and the tap holes dry out eventually. Um, and in the old days, we have a big vacuum pump that allows us to keep our tap holes clean so we can tap early and not lose the tail end of the season. Having an energy efficient operation is very important to Dave, and he has done a number of things to manage his energy costs and reduce his carbon footprint. When I rebuilt and expanded the Sugar Wish two years ago, my goal was to become the most efficient sugar operation possible. So it starts, we have a state-of-the-art vacuum pump with a computer in it that uh, when the vacuum pump doesn't need to be on, most vacuum pumps are either on or off, and they use, when they're on, they use a tremendous amount of energy. This one shuts itself down when it's not needed. It uses far less energy. Got a brand new, highly efficient RO. It uses a lot less energy, and the, the evaporator is really cool. We used to make, uh, our first woodshed would produce 600 gallons of syrup. With this, we produce 4,000 gallons because it burns the gases, it's highly, highly efficient. When people think of Vermont, many think of maple syrup, and Vermont is in fact the leading state when it comes to producing syrup. Why is that? I think a lot, I mean, there are more maple trees, frankly, in New York, um, and they're starting to ramp up production. 80% um, of the world's syrup's actually made in Quebec. We make the most from the states. Um, but I think it's mostly Vermont tradition. So many people have been sugaring for so many years, for so many generations, and it's, there's not quite the same tradition in other states. In the craft beer world, there are certain breweries that garner a huge following due to their brewing talents and recipes. Is there a Lawson's finest of the maple sugaring world here in Vermont? Um, I think every sugar house makes great syrup in Vermont. I mean, we try really hard to make the best syrup we can. Uh, a lot of people don't know syrup tastes different every single day. The syrup that we can to sell are on those few days where we think it tastes absolutely the best. Um, but I think Vermont maple syrup is good wherever you go. Keith Berkelhammer, Mad River Valley TV. Just a reminder that your support directly impacts our small community by helping our station provide public access to the airways and online platforms, giving community members a means to express their views and opinions. Please consider a 100% tax-deductible contribution to MRV-TV by visiting the Donate section on MRVTV.com.